I cannot wait to show you guys Zoho Click. Zoho Click is so useful for a team and so amazing. You have got to see this. Let's dive right in. First of all, you can get your Zoho Click alerts or you can send messages from any tool within Zoho. Just look in the bottom left corner for chats, channels, and contacts. This is Zoho Click. But then you also have the app that you can go to. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go into Zoho Click. This is used to message one another within the organization, as well as outside of the organization with other companies that may also use Zoho Click. So you can connect with many different people. Um, you can connect with me, you know, through Zoho Click. But yes, when you first go in, this is the dashboard. It can seem a little overwhelming at first, but let me just break down each piece so that you can understand what all is going on here on this page. So here at the top, you have where you can, you know, change your view to see our users, channels, chats, and so on, and then the search box, okay? Now, this is where you can update your status. When you first log in for the day, if you would like for your team to check in, right, and you can see who's actually at work. Well, a lot of us are remote right now. And this is basically what it's saying. I am checked in for remote work for today. And so they click a button that says check in or they click on this toggle button here and then you will see them listed here in your in your list of people who are at work currently. The status, your status can be changed here. This is to show that you're available this is to show that you're engaged in work, a little busy. This is for when you take a 60-minute lunch break. This is for 15 minutes or more. You've got some other options here. So um, you can utilize this. All team members will have access to this. And then you have live video feed. If you would like for people to be able to see your face <laughs> while you're working, you can actually turn on your video feed. And um, that can be viewed by anyone who is currently at work. Here's where your timer is. This is how long I've been checked in, right? And then here you have your uh, different departments. So right now we only have one um, in this demo. So successful demo is the only thing that's really showing here. And you can search for different members with this search box. This is who's at work. Like I said before, this is who's away. These are my other fictitious um, team members. And these are group calls that have happened. Um, anytime you do a group call, you use this button here. You can schedule it or you can make one immediately for, you can do an immediate meeting. You put a topic here, um, choose whether you want to do this via a chat or just have participants that you invite. And then you select those users, right? So we're gonna select a couple people. Okay, and then we select whether or not we want this to be a video or just audio. We're gonna do audio for this. And so then next, this is where we actually choose which microphone we want to use and start our meeting. And voila, we are literally in a meeting. We invited a couple people, but it's ringing them right now. They haven't accepted. So just to give you a, a quick little peek at how that works, we're going to end the call here. Let's go over to the menu on the left. On the left, we have the conversation section. Anytime a meeting is set up or anything of that nature, you'll see a conversation for it. And basically, it's just sending a notification to the others and yourself, just letting you know when the meeting is and the times, all the details and how many people are, have been invited. So you'll see that for a couple of meetings. Anytime you click on a new conversation, as you notice, it'll just um, put each one side by side. That's a setting that you can change. You can do one at a time or you only view one at a time or you can open several at the same time. So if I go here and I look at conversations I've had with Don, it would just add it to my, um, my view. 
here is where John and I have exchanged some messages, um, even a video call. But this is pretty versatile. You can use emojis. You can attach attachments. You can make a phone call. I can audio call or video call John. I can screen share with John. And then here is where I can mute the conversation with a group, for example. Okay, now, when John receives a message from me, you'll see this little check mark is gray saying that I've sent it. But let's go over to John's. This is John's um, Zoho. And we're going to see here, you can see in the bottom corner, like I said before, you can access click from any Zoho tool or most Zoho tools at the bottom left corner. You'll see here my message to John. Now, John has checked the message. So when I go back, I'll see there are two check marks, which means he's read it. So you can kind of keep track of who's actually read the messages that you've sent out. So John can go inside of his Zoho click, and here's his dashboard, okay? All right, so going back here, this is where the, this is a channel. Basically, hashtag announcements is a default, and everyone who is joined to your organization or who has accepted click, they will be listed automatically in this conversation. All right, so these are announcements. Let's say I wanted to make an announcement, um, catering, oops, lunch at noon, I've made an announcement. So if I go and look here, you'll see here, John has received the announcement, but it also went to we don't have any other participants right now, but if it, if there were more, then you'd see that it'd go to everyone all at the same time. All right, so again, the channels are here. These are just recent conversations and um, it'll just put the most recent up top and then so on. Here is where all of the channels will be. If you need to create a new channel, you can simply do that, create the hashtag, what it's for, and add the participants. And then these are some other contacts that I, you know, may or may not have had conversations with. And then this is the bot Taz. When you first go into um, Zoho Click, then Taz will send you a message and let you know that Taz is here for you. If you just want to make a note to yourself, you can use Taz, right? Um, reminders for yourself. You can use it for different things. And then also Taz will let you know whenever you have messages. Um, or meetings that are coming up and so on. If you also have click on your mobile device, then you will get notifications automatically on your mobile device. All right, so that is just a quick little sneak peek into Zoho Click and what it can do. Um, if you guys have questions around it, I am here to answer any questions that you have. And then also I have an upcoming training that I'm going to go into depth with Zoho CRM and just show you guys exactly how it should be used, how to set it up, and then um, give you all of the little tricks and tips um, for Zoho CRM. So stay tuned for that. And then also let's spread the Zoholic addiction by subscribing to this channel so that others who need help understanding Zoho can find us. So also like this video if you feel that it was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching.